Okay, we finally got the Varmint XL1000 going. We recapped it and cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, only thing, it's got some 40% tubes and it's only doing about 40% of what it should do. So um, until we get some tubes, we're going to button it up and uh, put it on the shelf. Uh, that's the bottom of it. Um, the voltage board with the high voltage, the caps, uh, high voltage caps are under there, low voltage. Um, it has a blower which pulls the air out of the amplifier, um, which I like because when you um, have a fan that blows the air on the tubes, it keeps the tubes cool, but the amp itself has a tendency to get warm. But when you pull the hot air out using a blower like this, it keeps the tubes cool too, but it has a tendency to keep the amplifier chassis transformer components a little bit cooler than just blowing air on it. Um, I never could get the key in circuit to work on this, the original one. I couldn't find a, a original schematic and I had two different schematics for environment but it didn't match this and it was giving me heck and it looked like it was miswired and somebody had played with it so I pulled the key in circuit out and put in a Nomad key in circuit with this that little board right there and the Nomad circuit you know 50 years you know more modern toward what they did in the old days so it works better better components more dependability um, this has a tuned input with that coil and there's a trimmer facing the back behind the coil so you can get the SWR the input SWR R down pretty low um, it's also got a TVI filter which is that guy right there, all them coils and tuners right there, coils and caps. It's got a built-in TVI filter on this thing and uh, that there's the driver tuning. The cap on top is the driver tuned in the co tank coil and underneath the coil is another trimmer. That would be the uh, low for the driver. And over on front you got uh, final tune and low that's the other side of the driver tune and over here you got AM SSB delay a blue um, light indicator light um, AM SSB receive amp on receive amp off and standby uh, super mod and high and then um, power high and low with that switch so it's a quad power between the super mod and the high low switches there and over here on the front well over here inside the top cover if I can make it over here you got the uh, three bodies driving the six uh, finals it uses um, six LR sixes which is a version substitute of the uh, six LF six tubes and heavy duty tank coil um, two heavy duty blocking caps your tank coil and it's got a tune and load in there if I can get the camera to it um, and it uses two pretty healthy uh, transformers for this guy so that's the basic is on the XL1000 it kinda matches the other schematics for the environment but it kinda doesn't if you don't know what you're doing you know and, and interpreting and reading schematics it's gonna give you hell and like I say even with schematics that didn't match that uh, key in circuit gave me hell other than that it's basic oh it does have a um, relay here and that's got the high voltage going through it so when you key down the regular key and relay up there it keys down the high voltage and applies the high voltage to the tubes only when it's keyed down um, I don't know if I like high voltage being switched to the tubes like that but I have seen other amps like the Nitro 300A I had one blow up on me and take out uh, somebody's radio because it wasn't mine it was you know somebody else's had one but um, the high voltage was in the main relay you know using like the center tap of the uh, key and relay and the high voltage arced and took out his um, radio he was using so at least on this one the center leg keys this relay so that only got 12 volts going through it and it grounds that relay and then that relay keys the high voltage so the high voltage is safely far away from your radio and you know input relay there so 
at least they did it right nowadays they mostly key the um or they um take out the negative lay the b minus to key that they don't mess with the high voltage at all but i'm not gonna you know remake this thing uh, you know it works and i think that's about all i wanted to talk about and with the weak tubes this thing's only doing about 300 bird and might hit 500 peak if i haven't messed with the tuning too much so i'm just gonna key it down with the mud duck radio there and on peak 2000 watt scale on a dummy load gonna key it down right quick and remember 40 percent tubes 40% output, so here we go, 2,000 watt scale. They came out 250, audio, audio, audio. Talking about 450. Audio, audio. And if we played with the tuning a little bit, we might can get it about 500 peak. And probably lose about uh, about 350 um, bird watts again 40 percent tubes and uh i'm gonna order some more tubes on it and the tubes cost a fortune nowadays and uh, put it up for now and when i get the tubes may do another one but that's gonna be it today for the varmint xl 1000 bye